to Hype Hunters. My name is John, and today we got some interesting news. Uh, an article came out by Sporting News where they interviewed uh, the vice president of sales of Panini. And uh, basically the biggest thing out of this article, we'll just jump right into it. Basically, uh, he mentioned that they are going to be raising prices on all retail products by 50% uh, in the next couple weeks. So that means a blaster that's typically $20 is now going to be $30. A mega that's typically $50 is now gonna be $75. So prices are gonna go up and it's basically just going to be trying to discourage people from flipping uh, card products and kind of reduce flippers margins. But what does this mean for sealed product? I would assume that a lot of these prices are going to start increasing as flippers are just gonna be like, I need to make more money off my product than random random stuff like that so very unnecessary but it's in my opinion i feel like it is going to eventually hurt uh the real collector who wants to open all the product or keep it sealed like myself so uh it's an interesting play that they're going to do but i think it's going to discourage the person who is mainly just in it to flip product and Maybe they see that their margins aren't gonna be as good anymore and they discourage a few people, but I think the vast majority of people are still going to be interested in this product. So another thing that they brought up in this article was the fact that Target is currently closed. They aren't selling any more retail product. They are going to start pushing out Pokemon products here in the next 10 to 14 days, they said, and just like occasionally see how that is going to go over in stores. And he mentioned that Panini is currently holding daily meetings, trying to figure out what to do with Target, trying to figure out a way that they can safely uh, get these products into the stores without any more issues from, you know, mobs of people that are just trying to flip the product and make a profit. So lots of, lots of hoops that Panini and Target has to jump through, but they're trying to figure it out. It, it, it definitely sounds like Target will uh, be ending their suspension of sports cards relatively soon. Probably in the next couple weeks, we'll start seeing more sports cards rolling out. But uh, it is announced that in the next 10 to 14 days that uh, Pokemon will be making its return to Target. So that's pretty cool. And then this uh, vice president of sales also brought up the idea of the kids. So obviously, one of the biggest uh, complaints that people have, and I see it all the time, is you're buying up all the products, save some for the kids. And uh, Panini is definitely... Uh, talking about that but they've also kind of realized that uh, the kids really aren't interested in, in cards as much anymore it's definitely become more of an adult driven uh, hobby and people that are just trying to collect because obviously kids can't really afford a lot of these cards that are uh, being popping up in, in retail stores so it's turned from more of an impulse buy that's like 10 to 15 bucks a few years ago to now like a serious buy that you got to put in like 50 to 60 at, at the minimum uh, if you want to get a pack of cards. It's definitely changed a lot, but Panini is trying to roll out this kind of kids crate uh, here in early July, I believe, where they are going to toss in a couple blasters, a couple packs, and like a Panini shirt or uh, some swag items from Panini. So, and those are only gonna be sold at hobby stores for $50 a piece and sold to people who are on, uh, 14 years old or younger. So that's kind of their way to limit flippers from getting into the, pro getting into the product where they uh, only really sell to kids and keep the price at a, at a relatively minimum uh, amount at $50 because Obviously, kids' parents aren't gonna to wanna to drop a lot of money on cards and when they don't realize how expensive all these products are. So $50, you get a couple blasters, a couple packs that you can open, and then also some a shirt and some swag items is pretty cool too for the kids. So that's kind of Panini's way to address that issue. So Panini is also trying to address this issue of supply versus demand. So obviously, the supply is I mean, it's it's relatively high, but since it's all being bought up, uh, the demand is just way too high for the supply. And basically they're trying to address that and bring it back to an equilibrium where relatively everybody can get cards if they want it, at least like a day or two after they're put out on the shelf, 
which is definitely going to be a tough thing to do uh, if there aren't like limits in place to deter people from buying uh, all the product up at a certain store. But they are definitely trying to print out, print a little bit more product and we're kind of seeing that now with Select. Select is being printed to the moon basically and it is one of their most popular sets so it makes sense. But a blasters are popping out all over the place, megas are popping out all over the place. So they're definitely printing a lot more than a typical product line would go. When we saw Optic come out, Optic Football back in February or March, we saw blasters one week, hangers one week, megas one week, and then it was done. Didn't see any more product. Select, we've been seeing it for over a month now, still popping up in large quantities. So they're definitely trying to print a lot more product, but they also are trying to avoid the junk wax era of the mid 90s and a lot of people I've been hearing toss that word around junk wax era I, I personally don't think that that is where we're at currently basically because uh, Panini is one of the only exclusive rights holders to a lot of these products in the NFL and uh, NBA so it's definitely tough for that for a junk wax era to happen when there's only one company that really controls the market uh, in the 90s, there were like six to seven different companies all pushing a ton of new product into the market. So with only Panini really being the main player, uh, it's a little tough to have that happen unless they just print to the moon, which they definitely could, but that is something that he mentioned they're trying to avoid. So trying to find that equilibrium of supply and demand where it doesn't cost an incredible amount to get product anymore. So this is something that Panini's doing. Uh, this is a great article, I'll link it in the description below. I would definitely go ahead and check it out because there's a lot of interesting stuff that they go over. Um, but yeah, let me know what your thoughts are on these new little increases in price. Is that going to deter people from jumping into the hobby? Is this going to protect the common collector from uh, not having to pay incredible amounts for all these products? So. Let me know what your thoughts are on this entire article, what, what I've mentioned here today. But uh, yeah, this has been John, Pipe Hunters. See you guys.